power flows to the one who knows how. Desire alone is not enough. Freedom is the right of all sentient beings. Megatron must be stopped, no matter the cost. Autobots, roll out! We cannot let the humans pay for our mistakes! today um we have the lovely simon Furman. hey good to be here yes always nice to have simon so last time uh we dragged simon to the cinema and this time he's here in the studio so we're pretty excited yeah. and of course alongside simon we also have the lovely adam hi and the even lovelier daniel see what i did there Guten Tag. and then the loveliest of all pablo who's on the other side over there you can't see him <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't he doesn't like to, to Space. Have you been on stream, like visibly, Pablo? No. Just no, his voice. No. You want to say hi? Yell at them. Hello. <laughs> there we go. That's good. Um, so yeah, today we are going to look at the final, the conclusion, the winner of Direct the Dialogue, which has been running over the last four weeks, which is pretty exciting because Simon is going to read out the winning dialogue. Oh. <laughs> he didn't know, did you? I did, I did he, know. He, he did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not only that, but we're going to go back through to the beginning of the story that you guys created and go through from beginning to end to the, uh, the final winner, which is going to be pretty sweet. Adam did some, some nice little, little yeah. additions uh, Yeah, I had to piece well. it all together. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he was not happy earlier. I was like, "Can we?" And he was like, "Ugh." Yeah, so. I, f I, f I found out there's three different ways to make like enter, like return, and uh, I'm not gonna bore you to death. Too much. Either. Yeah. Um, simple things can be difficult sometimes. It's true. Deep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's deep. Uh, so because Simon can't stick around for too long, I think we're gonna dive right into the direct. The dialogue, and after that, we'll talk about Worlds Collide, which is the final event in the multiverse saga. And of course, we'll also check out Laser Optimus and Armada Megatron in battle. Um, and yeah, let's I'm making I'm making us louder. Apparently, we're not that That's loud. That's not the volume. Really. <laughs> this one is right. Make gain. I use that as well. Okay. Well, don't do it too much. Don't overdo it. See, now it's going to be like, whoa, why does it over too loud? Okay. But before we start, let's say hi to some people real quick. If, if we're melting your, your face with audio, like, yeah, let's now, see. just let us know. Exactly. Uh, Primetime, what's going on? We've got uh, Wildstar, Simon, you want to pick some, some names? Uh, yeah, we've got uh, Toy Caliber, we've got Duty Spot, we've got <laughs> Extra Emeralds. Uh, we've got Prime Time 6969 and uh, Geek Girl 137. So loads of people out yeah, there. Loads of people, yeah. We also have Joe Hudson and Fernando Awesome, uh, Predaking uh, TF Prime, and Andrew JC24, and C Stop, and uh, we've also got DPO88, and Rich Homie Swan. I think you might be, might be new, at least. Uh, Homie Swan? Yeah. Been before? I don't know, but we've got a swan behind we us. We do have a yeah. swan behind us as well. Can you see Swandry behind us? <laughs> Always nice to have him. Uh, Metaron, Pierre Creed, what's up? Nice to see uh, you guys. we got Annalise as well. Um, and let's see, who else? We've got Bruce, and we've got Christian Cruz, and we've got Enrique, and F Felix, and Aaron. Uh, nice to see, and Zephy. Nice to see all of you guys. So let's dive in and check out the beginning of Direct the Dialogue all the way uh, to the end. It's, I'm making it sound like it's going to take a really long time, but it's not. It's going to be pretty quick. <laughs> uh, so one second, let me... And by the way, uh, later on we'll also cover some of the uh, content release changes to gameplay balancing, uh, but we'll have to uh, do that after the story. Because we've only got Simon for a limited amount of time. That's right. <laughs> limited time only. It's like a um, 
shopping network exactly commercial. yeah yeah for a limited time <laughs> uh, <laughs> special offer yeah you are special i've got this compilation of five songs on three thousand cds uh-huh and the first one is from week one and it's is it from whom i don't know what are you talking about doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm confused sure. as well. Yeah, too okay, good. Too much coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, exactly. Take Usually that. he has tea, but... <laughs> it's not coffee. <laughs> Step from it's the coffee. not coffee. <laughs> no, no. Uh, so, as promised, let's have uh, Simon do the dialogue. Now, there's always two characters. Mm -hmm. um, and so maybe, Simon, you can always be the... The first character, well, you get to choose which character you want I to be. I really don't mind. They change for yep. each one. And then uh, Adam is pretty keen. He's looking at me with, with puppy dog eyes, being like, can I do it? Mm. No, he wasn't. He was just eating. I'm only Megatron. <laughs> I'll do the Megatron. Uh, yeah, you can be Megatron. I'll be Megatron. And then Daniel, you can be something. Actually, there's four, so we can each do one. I'm there Megatron. Yep. There we go. All right, so let's get ready to play the transmission. Here we oh, go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Who's Melody? And who's Luca? I'm Luca, you know Melody. Okay, All right. okay sorted. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, ready guys? Here we go. Dun, dun. Week one. Megatron is a... Oh no, can I read yeah. that? That's the problem. That. Megatron has invited Optimus Prime to the drive-in cinema for a truce, but Megatron, being the conniving villain that he is, is actually trying to set a trap for Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime has just realized the friendly invitation is actually a malevolent trap. Luca, you're up. It's a trap! The winner is Drive Belt from Wavebreaker Bots. <laughs> so, a trap. I should have known all along, Megatron. <laughs> of course, you packed up fool, wishing you had a blaster instead of some popcorn. I'll beat you with my bare hands before the trailers are finished. The Decepticons! Dim the light on this old relic. Attack! Yeah. Week two. Optimus Prime and Megatron still find themselves in the cinema ready to, for attack. Startled cinema goers fumble for their mobile phones to call the police. Just before Optimus and Megatron deal their first blows, they hear a siren. In barges drift, ready to defend Optimus Prime with police in tow. But wait. It's not the letter of the law. It's the opposite. Barricade rolls into transformation. <laughs> <laughs> Stunned, drift ready is free source. <laughs> and the winner of that is Acid Pour of Technicons. Feeling lucky enough to bring only knives to a shootout? <laughs> if you're threatening police brutality, I'd prefer to play my director's cut. Burr. <laughs> ha! This fight will be your fate to black. <laughs> With all these cell phone cameras in here, ready for your big close up? <laughs> ready when you are, granola bot. <laughs> <laughs> then catch me if you can. <laughs> well done. Very well done, well done, guys. All right, we're on to week three. Drift has rushed out of the drive in cinema with Barricade in hot pursuit. Just then, Bumblebee comes back from the concession stand with popcorn. Coincidentally, he'd been in the cinema the whole time, getting ready to catch a matinee. Suddenly, he hears the swoosh of a fighter jet overhead. Starscream has heard the commotion over his comms and sees the chaos as a golden opportunity to take over leadership, leadership, leadership of the Decepticons. He sits back and watches Optimus and Megatron fight in glee. <laughs> Bumblebee spots him and runs over. The winner is Primetime of Death Strikers. Hey Screamer, what's the matter? Did your wings get clipped? Ha! The Autobot pest. Why don't you buzz off before I swat you like the insect you are? This bug is about to ground you permanently. Only in a sci-fi film, in the real world, bugs get squashed. <laughs> Looks like I found something else to pop besides popcorn. Let's rumble. Nice. <laughs> All right, congrats. And we are on to our final week. Ooh, this, this is, is the premiere. This is the conclusion. <laughs> yeah. And the premiere. Yes. Yeah. Premiere and conclusion. Week four. There's no old brawl in the drive-in cinema. 
Popcorn is flying everywhere. In the background, the screen comes alight with a flash. But it's not the feature film. The bots enrolled in combat freeze and turn their gaze huh? to the spectacle. Suddenly, Laser Optimus and Armada Megatron burst through the screen. And the winner of this one is Blue Patriot 1 of Legacy Knights. Here we go. Armada Megatron. I'll crush you like I crush Bumblebee's popcorn. <laughs> one shall stand, one shall fall. <laughs> Megatron, super mode. A super mode won't even come close to stopping me. <laughs> <laughs> Think again, Autobrot. <laughs> so that was dodge kick. Touche, Megatron. Hey, well that was fantastic. Thanks so much to our wonderful actors. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was awesome. And again, thank you so much to everybody who sent in uh, their entries. And uh, congrats again to Drive Belt, Acid Pour, Primetime, and Blue Patriot One for... Um, wrapping up that story so nicely and yeah it was really really great to have it yeah great stuff yeah but there were tons of great entries um so we really do appreciate it i'm sure we'll do this again at some point in the future adam was like not too soon <laughs> <laughs> no there's just so much going on um and of course part of the story we have is the story in the events and this week we'll have the culmination of the event that uh, if i'm not mistaken simon helped ben in and uh, Worlds Collide is the name of the event. Simon, can you tell us about the, the story? Maybe do you want to do like a nice little wrap up of the multiverse saga? Yeah, tell well. Tell us what happened. Know, do you still remember <laughs> <laughs> what we wrote? There's, there's been a few since then, yeah. so, uh, so I'm, I'm reading now, you know. Sort of, That's yes, fine. <laughs> but this is bringing Armada Megatron. Yes, and Laser Optimus. And Laser Optimus into the Earth Wars game. So, you know, we had to look at a way to breach the dimensional wall again, you know, mm. time and space, we don't care, do we, here? So uh, we'll get them in somehow. And uh, and, it, and I've got to say, Laser Optimus gave me the chance for some great little sort of lines. I hope you're going to enjoy Oh, my. You know, okay. sort of, I still think Chris is stressing about some of those. But, uh, yes. <laughs> um. so, yeah, you know, so I hope you're going to enjoy okay, that. Okay, amazing. Looking um. forward to those. Yeah, uh, I wonder if some of them are in the transmission here. Well, uh, uh, perhaps we will find out. Shall we now, before we do more oh. transmissions, I'm just gonna do a very quick rundown on the event. Um, just now, to... mind you, Simon has to go soon. So. Yeah, I'm no, gonna no, do a no, super I'm quick good. one. Okay. Okay. Simon is good. See, uh, I'm just gonna do a quick rundown. So this is the first leaderboard event uh, we are running, um, like classic leaderboard event uh, since uh, kind of two months ago. Um, and this time, uh, you uh, only are able to score, uh, like get the top 40 scores of your alliance counted uh, towards your um, goal. So, um, the, way, the reason I'm saying it's a classic uh, leaderboard event is because you have a 4-star guaranteed uh, Armada Megatron or a Laser Optimus at the top uh, 5 spots, uh, with some extra spark incentive to uh, kind of battle out between uh, uh, ranks there. Uh, then we've got um, Free Star Megatron, I believe, in top 80. Uh, top 100, actually. Uh, guaranteed Free Star Armada Megatron uh, or Laser Optimus. And then we've got um, some premium crystals here and Spark. Uh, and it goes up to top 400 uh, alliances can get uh, five premium crystals and some Spark. Now, that's the, um, that's the leaderboard rewards um, across alliances. Um, and here are the totalizer rewards. So, of course, no precision here. And we've got a two-star Armada Megatron uh, at the top. So that will give you a chance to get, uh, even if you don't get a three-star one, uh, you will get the avatar, you'll get a two-star bot to your collection, but uh, you'll yeah, also get the avatar, uh, which is a cool new addition um, to the game. Uh, we've got some story here very early on, uh, so perhaps maybe some one of us can like grind through it. or. You probably just unlock it straight after um, we uh, publish the event. Um, it goes live, of course, on Friday, same time as always. And we've got uh, shards, we've got Alloy Energon, more shards, we've got some free star shards, spark, 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 quite a lot of spark. Uh, and then four star shards, more free star shards, 
four star shards, and of course a two star bot at the top. Um, so yeah, to reiterate, maybe alliance before event. Before you go to the battle zones, I'm if you guys have any fight. questions for Simon, by the way, because he's got to shoot. Yeah, off, drop them in the chat. Feel free to drop them in the chat now. Yeah. Uh, he yes. can't say the whole time, so if you do have questions. Do it now, but we'll try to pick out a few for Simon before he has to jet. Yeah, sure. before I go, can I just say I'm going to be at the London Film and Comic Con at the end of the month. Amazing. So uh, if anybody can get along, come along, see me there, and maybe we can talk some more Earth Wars live, as it were. <laughs> And what are you working on these days, Simon? Yeah, well, I'm still doing the definitive G1 collection, which is up to issue 14. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's still coming out every other week. Uh, mm -hmm. That's going really well. And uh, still doing my To The Death pro yeah, project with Jeff. And on the subject of Jeff, uh, check out his new Facebook page, Jeff Senior. He's got a new Facebook page. He's doing all sorts of commissions. Okay, how do you spell that? We'll put it in the chat. Uh, Jeff Senior, uh, G, you know, other one, G E, G E O double F Senior. Uh, oh, it's Facebook. Yeah? Facebook, yeah. Cool. And uh, he's doing a whole load of uh, new commissions. It's the art of Jeff Senior one. Go, go, <laughs> uh, go back. Oh, no. It's that that one. one. Try that one. But he's doing um, some Transformers commissions, so you can get your favorite uh, Transformer drawn by Jeff. So oh, that's, that's awesome. That's cool. awesome. All right. Yeah. Um, so um, in the meantime, I was showing here the event structure. Uh, no surprises here. And yes, um, this um, event, of course, gives the top alliances a chance to get a guaranteed four star. Um, in contrast to the previous event, where uh, you had the chance crystals, we tried to mix things up. We try to evolve um, the leaderboards as well every time. Um, so um, expect uh, the next leaderboard event to be similar or different. We don't yet know. It's all up to Andrew and Hyra as to how they, um, how they integrate it. And of course, always we gauge the feedback uh, against the engagement and the data we get from the events. Uh, but yeah, this one is a guaranteed bot. Um, so if you had loads of crystals last time but didn't have the luck, well, now it might be in the luck, uh, provided you have a, a solid alliance. Uh, right. We've got a question for Simon. Okay. Uh, Geek Girl asks, Simon, do you have any plans to work on a new Beast Wars story in comic or other media forms? Well, of course, we've got our Beast Wars character in, characters in Earth Wars. So, yes, uh, I know. They are amazing. You know, but I, if I can do, I will. I you know, there's no plans at the moment, but uh, I absolutely love Beast Wars. It's probably my favorite yeah. bit of Transformers. So, yeah, any chance I get, I'll definitely do some more. But, you know, keep looking for Beast Wars news in Earth Wars as well. Yeah, definitely, yeah. absolutely. We are not done with the universe. Um, and as you can see, we're like pulling stuff from Armada, we're pulling stuff from G2 with uh, Laser Optimus. There's always opportunity uh, for uh, great characters to make an appearance in our game. And uh, Silver Rolani is asking, Simon, who's your favorite bot in TFEW? Oh, in Air Force. Wow, I mean, you know, how, how can I... Uh, you are some, some of the yeah. top ones. I'm, I'm going to say Bludgeon is my new favorite. Mm. Oh. Uh, Bludgeon. Like it. I really liked Bludgeon in IDW comics. They made him uh, this really crazy scientist, like <laughs> really dark. Um, yeah, Bludgeon's a great character. You know, he was, he's, a, he's a strange little original toy, you yeah. know, not quite what you expect. But, you know, I always loved writing him. And uh, Tomb of Makua is asking Simon, what character from whatever timeline would you like to write for? Wow, there's so many, you know, but, <laughs> but you know, I, I'm always happiest when I'm writing, you know, some Grimlock dialogue, so uh, <laughs> you know, he's, he's always my bot, really. Yeah, I, I love those. Whenever we get uh, Grimlock dialogue from Simon, I get a chance to laugh a couple times. <laughs> um, it's, it's great. Awesome. Are let's, we ready to play? Let's play the transmission. I may have to skip, have to skip out skip here, out? but okay. but go, good to speak with everyone. See you soon. Thanks Bye. Thanks so much for joining. Thanks for us, Simon. See we you. will see you again soon. Definitely, yes. and I'll be here for the whole time next time. Oh yeah, no problem. <laughs> Always see nice to have you, Cheers. even if it's brief. <laughs> Daniel, yeah. come on in. And we move up. Um, you this. move here. Yeah, you. you Bye, Simon. Right. Oh no, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then. We can just all do this. Go. Okay, well, uh, that was the lovely Simon Firm, mm. everybody. What is that, bad buddy? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> it's a slug for something. Mm. 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 
Um, that is a cookie. Mm. As promised, all right, we will uh, play said transmission. Mm-hmm. Worlds collide. Mm-mm. What? <laughs> you read the introduction. Okay. So devouring so, the cookie. Worlds collide. In his mission to bring the strongest Decepticons to Earth, Barricade has encountered none other than Armada Megatron. But for a shadow to be cast, there must also be a source of light. And the light radiates from Laser Optimus Prime. Join Drift and Barricade as their multiverse spanning saga reaches its epic conclusion and fight on this weekend's event leaderboard for a chance to unlock a three or four star Laser Optimus or Armada Megatron. Of course, starts tomorrow, runs till Monday, as always. Yeah. All right, I ready? must say, I love that piece of art we've yeah, got here. Amazing. Yeah, um, it's amazing. Yeah, our, our yeah. artists are, are one-upping like, each other all the time. Yeah, really, really cool. All the time. Yeah. All right. Every time we ask for a new event, it's like, best one yet, best <laughs> one yet. They do like to top, top themselves. All right, we are. Wait, wait for it. Yeah. Oh. Where are we? And why are the colors so glaring and garish? Hunger looks amazing. Yeah. This alternate universe was designated G2 by Shockwave, whatever that means. Just some dead end reality. What are you doing here anyway, Hunger? Wait, don't tell me. Starscream. Ah, oh, you spoiled the surprise. <laughs> yeah, he sent me to make sure you failed. You know how he is. If he can't have it, no one can. Look, what say we team up? Two or three heads are better than one. Ah, uh, okay. Shall we grab one here? Are you kidding? All those dayglow greens and luminous oranges. I'd lose my lube lunch. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> oh. No, I'm too late. The Decepticons are literally one jump ahead of me. <laughs> you Autobot, identify yourself. Optimus? Oh, dun dun dun! Very cool. His name is Optim Laser Optimus Prime, <laughs> and this is how he looks like. Boom! Boom! This chair is really creaky. I think this is the one that Simon was on. By the way, this is the time we do gameplay for them. Ooh, we need yeah. to like. Ooh, ooh. Oh. Yeah. What? We will see uh, Laser Optimus uh, in game with Armada Megatron. Yes. Now, I do not have other You can do, here. do their um, transformations and stuff. Oh, yeah, of course. Of I course. There it is. <laughs> yes. Sweet. That's my favorite. You like it? Yeah. Armada Megatron's your favorite? Yeah. yeah. We, 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 we put... Um, I have the two. Oh, oh, I see, I see, okay. Yeah. I mean, I often have a um, bit of a bias towards the Decepticons when they come out, even though I'm an Autobot, but I don't know, the Decepticons are always like... The I, must, uh, <laughs> I must say, Laser Optimus, I'm not a Decepticon man, but Laser Optimus is so cool. Yeah, he's cool Because too. he's a truck with flames, and his name is Laser Optimus. So everything is better with flames and with lasers, and if you combine both, True. and you add a giant sword, like the one he has, you've got a winner there. Megatron's a I'm tank. gonna wait. Yeah, I like tanks. <laughs> tanks are cool. Tanks are cool. And he's good like a glowing katana. Um, yeah, which is better cool. than a glowing mace, if you ask me. Yeah. Because just katanas are cool. Um, but I'm, I'm gonna wait for the sword here. Come on. Come on, get the sword out. Ah, one more loop. Oh. There's a chance for it, you know, to happen. Yeah. He's running out of batteries. 33%. Come on. He's taking a break. Having a Kit Kat. Yeah, so yeah, we'll see them in battle shortly. <laughs> you might want to mm, put yeah. all, more autobots on this account. Oh, actually, we'll relog to the other account. It's fine. We will do the relog. Okay. Uh, but before We're we doing do, a relog. I'm waiting for the sword. <laughs> Maybe like turn around a few times and then. It doesn't help. Well, it's, at least it's a bit more interesting than just having this. Oh, yeah. It's one of those weird theories of. Shake, shake the phone. It'll happen. Yeah, exactly. Just press the elevator button again. Mm. It'll come quicker. But sometimes it feels like it does, just because you're doing something in the meantime. Mm. So I don't know. Anyways. Anyway, I love him. Uh, I'm gonna take. I'm yeah, gonna get bored. Cool. Yeah, I'm bored. Uh, I'm getting um, Armada Megatron into battle, and then we will relog. If you want to see the really cool uh, lasery stuff going on, Pablo's made a pretty sweet video. Oh yes. That is gonna drop soon. About or, or you can just watch it here too. Well, you can. But by the way, if you want to see, but we're trying to give a shout out to yeah. Pablo for his nice video that he made. <laughs> of course, 
Pablo has also photographed our Armada Megatron, um, partially transformed in some of his forms, um, and put him on Facebook uh, for your pleasure to see. Because, yeah, we, we had this guy, since we started working on Air Force, we, we got the original, uh, the, the uh, Combiner Wars, uh, sorry, Generations uh, Megatron, and we got the Generations Armada Megatron. Uh, and I've been waiting to put Armada Megatron into the game forever. I always wanted him. Uh, because we had him like literally there and like looking at him like oh we want to put him in the game um, but we never had a chance until now so this looks like a good base uh, just too casual that's what it sounds fun. Uh, this looks like a perfect base to demonstrate two base. things first thing would be a laser turret that has an increased lifespan and so it now uh, lasts an extra 15 seconds that's 45 instead of uh, oh, did it put too far? Um, instead of um, 30, that should be enough. Nice. Um, but let's get to the to the to the main part. Logan's gonna keep firing here, but this is Armada Megatron and Ricochet mode. So I'm gonna support him with Nemesis Prime. Nemesis Prime has received a buff as well. Uh, mainly uh, the power of the darkness. The cast range, as you can see, has increased. And it's also more immediate, so the projectile travels faster. We'll cover all these changes later. Fires quicker, travels faster, and it's pretty strong. Now, if I manage to destroy some of the buildings here, I'll enter ricochet mode with Megatron. There we go, the glowing katana is... Oh, and look at that, the bouncing disc. He also has it uh, as one of his regular attacks. But if I enter the mode, the ricochet mode, transform into a tank, and start firing these crazy bouncing discs, um, that deal uh, quite substantial damage to enemy defenses and uh, that mode lasts for 15 seconds so that's pretty pretty damn useful especially against uh, you know, multiple defenses some of them can be uh, actually spread out a little um, so it's it's one of these types of uh, arrow of effect uh, abilities that are kind of sure to hit the same with uh, hollow assault uh, from hound and uh, drag strip so uh, you might have let's say four or five defenses that are kind of spread out a little, you use that ability, you're sure to hit uh, all of them. And uh, it's very useful uh, when paired with some of the abilities that uh, make defenses brittle, like Shattering Charge, uh, or in, um, just in general to finish off anything that has been started earlier. So I'm just going to use Megatron here and bring back my um, Armada Megatron in the next battle to show it again. That looks like victory to me. And Struxus. Made yeah. it? Yeah, 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 one more battle, and then we can switch over. All right. Uh, cool. And while we switch over, I'll discuss the uh, changes. So we're all very smooth and like not wasting your time. And then uh, <laughs> we also maybe gather some questions. Go for it. Yeah, yeah. Lockdown. Make him more powerful in the research lab. Sure will, soon. First, we'll fight. Wow, it's really quiet in here. Anyways, um, say Daniel. Hi. What have been some of the most interesting things you've come across in the uh, community? Have there been any really funny stories that you've come across? Uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you need to be funnier so that Daniel has something to laugh at when he's looking through your queries and things. I, well, I normally look through. What's the, the strangest like request or question you've ever gotten? Uh, I normally look through the bugs and crashes and stuff. Fair I enough. don't see the fun stuff. Pablo, what's oh. the weirdest but request yeah, or question you've gotten? The only look in, stuff. Do you only look into the abyss? Yeah, pretty much. The abyss is my life. No. <laughs> I don't mind. The abyss is a nice place. Now, look at this, right, so. ricochet <laughs> mode, um, in this case, uh, it bounces um, um, onto four other targets, so it can hit five targets. Uh, so you'll be able to see, there you go, one, two, three, four, five, it bounces off the wall. And it will prefer to target um, normal like buildings, resource buildings, and of course defenses, uh, but if there's nothing around, it will bounce off other things like walls. Uh, all right, perfect situation to Here's use. a great oh, um, question from Richard Champion. He asks, can you add more personality to the characters at the end of battle, like a victory Ooh. dance? 
Uh, so actually, if you uh, look closely at some of the bots like Blaster or Jazz, and they have a chance to actually dance and do a moonwalk after the battle is finished. You just have to uh, pay attention um, to them uh, when you see them um, here after the battle finishes. Uh, it doesn't happen in the kind of level up experience screen because that's where they just kind of get all the XP tallied up. Uh, but maybe perhaps we could we could add that. And Prime Times asking, is Laser Optimus a Peter built? A Peter built? I don't know. What does that mean? What is a Peter Think you've built? stumped us, Prime Time. Yeah. What oh, do you look mean? at that. Uh, so yeah. Um, also, uh, if you have noticed. Uh, just to repeat, uh, Armada Megatron's uh, bouncy attack also applies to his uh, original kind of shot. Uh, that can bounce, I think, two or three times. Um, I would have to check. Uh, so it's pretty, uh, pretty useful at um, kind of harassing. Of harassing. It's what? It's a type of truck. It's a type ah, of truck. Peter ah. a type of truck. I don't know. I you, don't know. You, you look at the truck and you tell me what kind of truck it is. Uh, to be <laughs> fair, in London we don't have many trucks. Um, it's mostly um, cabs and, and red buses and, and Uber drivers. That's all we see, really, in central London. Anything else is banned from entering. Uh, but, um, yeah, we don't have these like, big rigs that you get uh, in America. I wish I... Wish, like, I, when I was in America, I saw that, I saw that kind of truck up, uh, like, up close and personal. It's, they're huge. They're, like, huge. Yeah. They're as tall as this room. What is it, sorry? Trucks. Trucks, like big <laughs> trucks. Yeah. Um, I'm always amazed big, by like big trucks are good. cruise ships that are yeah, like apartment he's, blocks. Yeah, he's nice. like that. Yeah, ah. big rig. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm going to relog. And while we relog, actually, you're going to relog uh, to the okay. Autobot version of this account and show my uh, show our faces. Special edition model 389. Perfect. Ah, I see. Now, you guys will now be given uh, Which one you want? A. sneak peek of the changes that have uh, yes uh, a version uh, sneak peek of the changes that are coming your way um, and I think we should also um, point you to the wiki because why not yeah the boom the yep well I'm gonna read it out uh, anyway and kind of give you more background on it uh, so we host a uh, all our updates on our wiki. Uh, it's a great place um, to check out uh, hey. anything really you're interested in the game. Um, bots, abilities, uh, all that sort of stuff. Uh, we keep addressing some of your feedbacks and adding stuff and expanding uh, the knowledge base. Uh, so keep your feedback coming. Uh, so we had, um, uh, we had a big balancing update uh, drop. Like right now, I think is probably live now. What? Nowish, nowish. What's live? Um, balance update. And oh, if it's not nowish live, then it will be soonish live. Um, and uh, some of the biggest changes are increasing of health uh, to kind of scout class characters. Uh, these are Bumblebee, Rust Dust, Perceptor, Scrapnel, Scavenger, Bombshell. They get twenty percent extra health. Uh, so on top of uh, being nimble and jumping back from mortar shots and uh, some of them, like Bumblebee and Rust Dust, Scrapnel and Scavenger, actually disable defenses with their EMP shots. On top of that, they also have 20% extra health. Uh, so, of course, their boot power will also raise. Um, we've got increase of health uh, for deployers. Uh, it's over 18%. It's 18 point something. Um, and the deployers are, uh, of course, Blaster and Soundwave. That hopefully will make them, uh, of course, last longer on the battlefield, which means your minions will have more time to deal damage. The damage the minions deal is actually pretty substantial. Uh, it doesn't look like it uh, because it's often spread out across different targets. Uh, but the DPS uh, they have, especially if you level up the ability, is um, it's nothing to laugh at. Uh, we've got the increase of a uh, base duration of EMP bomb for five star silver bolt and thundercracker um, by four seconds, from 14 to 18 seconds. This means that if you have a five star silver bolt or thundercracker. Um, some players complain that it's not uh, comparably, it's not as desirable as other five-star characters. And I thought, yeah, perhaps you're fair. Like we, we with, so ab so with some abilities, we um, we grow, uh, we increase the duration. Uh, for example, a four-star uh, perceptors hack lasts longer than a three-star perceptor. Uh, so why not um, make this kind of uh, nod uh, to, to some of our players and and and, and buff the five-star. Um, Okay, uh, then we've got the Blessing of the Matrix and Power of Darkness. That's the ability from uh, Rodimus and Nemesis Prime. 
Uh, as I showed you on, on, um, on stream earlier, uh, data build is more immediate and easy to use. Uh, we increased the projectile speed, the, the cast time, and the range has also been increased. Uh, so basically, it will be easier to protect your bot with that ability. And final change, uh, mini laser uh, from Huffer and Lockdown. Uh, that laser um, auto-destructs after 30 seconds. We've increased that duration by uh, 50%, so it now has 45 seconds of lifespan. Uh, some of you suggested that we increase the health further. That health has been increased a couple times already. Uh, I think the main idea of using that ability is, um, it's quite tricky, it takes some practice to use, uh, use well, I admit. Uh, but the idea is for, not, for it not to really tank, stuff. No, we've got tank characters and we've got RC uh, as well uh, with the whole decoy uh, to kind of distract and, and tank defenses. With this one we want to um, basically uh, allow you to position something and have it pay off later on. If, if you spawn that behind enemy lines or somewhere on the side and it manages to you know, burn through uh, two or three storage buildings and, and you reclaim even the ability points you spent, uh, that's, uh, that's pretty useful. And uh, it is a specialist ability, and uh, some players uh, really like it, some uh, players, uh, for some it's not a, their cup of tea. Uh, but we hope this change will, will help you. And that's the, the end of the balancing changes, um, for now, of course. Uh, we uh, do balancing drops uh, when it comes to like, immediate, like if things are uh, seriously unfair, then we try to address them as soon as possible. Uh, but we also uh, periodically uh, gather all the feedback and, and we roll it over for a couple of weeks and then we can drop a bigger update like this one. So keep your uh, feedback coming, uh, keep, the, uh, keep it coming in our social media, keep it coming in, our, um, in, in our, any channels we have, keep it coming here uh, on Twitch and, and other stream uh, services as well uh, and we will try and uh, chew through it and address it. Um, good! I hope you guys uh, like it. Uh, need to increase the five star Rodim special now. Oh, it's it's a tricky one because the uh, blessing of the matrix and power of darkness can be incredibly powerful if you pair it with a with a strong bot. Especially useful if you infiltrate the base with a strong air unit, um, someone with high DPS. Uh, protect them for ten seconds and they're gonna wreck havoc. Um, also, that ability protects them from stuns and stasis mines even. Um, if I'm not uh, mistaken, um, so it's, it's pretty damn powerful if used in the correct moment. Again, that's a specialist ability. Um, for some of these bots, you have to practice a little before you uh, uncover their true potential. Some people are asking, what's next after this event? Can we give them a so after a this up? Yeah, after this event, uh, we will start a new saga, also written by Simon Furman, uh, something that he worked on very recently. And um, I can tell you, ah, oh, I don't want to spoil. Like next week, we're gonna talk it's gonna about it. It's gonna be cool. <laughs> it's gonna be cool, and it's going to uh, follow up on partially on the events of this saga. So the way um, Strax's saga uh, kind of followed up uh, on the previous one. He will have a similar situation uh, where the stories kind of converge and and they develop further. But uh, yeah. In the next couple of weeks, you'll, uh, you'll see it. And the culmination of the event is really epic and has uh, some really great um, sneak peeks in it. Cool. Uh, also, uh, look out next week for the second episode of Ask the Matrix. Uh, this is a series that uh, lovely Pablo sitting over here uh, has started. Uh, we had Chris, uh, our product lead, already answer some of your uh, burning questions. But Adam, who's in the second episode? Um, <laughs> Might be me. I just <laughs> yeah, it is me. Uh, so I'm answering some of the questions that you guys sent over. Uh, we had a really nice uh, collection of uh, various questions uh, from people all around the world, from Japan to America, everyone. Um, yeah, look out for it on Monday, I want to say. Yeah, Pablo is nodding. Uh, Monday. Um, but in the meantime, are you guys ever going to have six shot out? Asks Tritronius. <laughs> On Twitch. Uh, so technically, um, once we release um, triple changes, which we know we want to do, uh, there's nothing stopping us from <laughs> developing a six shot. But who would we pair him with, and 
how would you would we like uh, six abilities scare the hell out of me if you ask me personally uh, because I could spend all the time developing uh, several bots rather than just doing one uh, because there's one part is art um, which sometimes you know, takes a lot of time and that is an incredibly complicated bot uh, on the other hand you have um, just gameplay needs six abilities hard to make it great uh, without it being overpowered or underpowered. So we'll see. It's it's not we're not saying no, but it's unlikely we'll have like a six changer uh, anytime soon. So uh, somebody was asking, where can we leave our questions for Ask the Matrix? Uh, you can always leave your questions underneath uh, the previous video. Usually, somebody at the end of the video will say, and leave your questions for next week at the bottom of the video. So uh, you can do that on uh, Facebook on social. Uh, just write in the comments, write your questions, and then Pablo will choose some of the best questions and push them to the team. So that is how. Thank you. Uh, what about Beast World uh, leader bundles? Um, yeah, I think Swandrew has some uh, of these in plans, so uh, possibly relatively soon. Um, I don't know exact timelines, uh, but sooner than later, I think. Uh, it's been quite a long time since we released uh, these characters in the in their event. Um, the other question, when are new combiners and what are the combiners? We are not going to say that um, until we are ready to show them to you. Uh, we are working on combiners and they're epic. Uh, but I'm not going to spoil it. Metaron says, Adam cracks me up when he gets lost in the awesomeness to come. <laughs> in the what? Awesomeness to, awesomeness to come. No, it's it's really hard because I would. Uh, there's a lot of stuff we're working on that it's not finished yet or is finished but waiting uh, for for a good moment. Uh, so it's always hard for me to kind of keep contain yeah contain and not spill the beans. But uh, in order to have something cool to bring out uh, every time we talk to you, uh, we need to pace ourselves. Uh, I'm, there, I'm there, ready to tap him the leg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Did you not right. relog? I did, yeah. No, it's a deceptive conversion. Oh, I did, but then I logged into the wrong account. <laughs> <sighs> I'm going to show you laser optimism in battle. Um, do, do not be surprised. Uh, he will be uh, quite similar to... Uh, also, check out these new mugs that we got. Mm, fancy. <laughs> we actually rebranded the whole, the whole studio. We've got yeah, new logos. Yeah, the, the new logo. It's pretty sweet. I'm a fan. They're cool. And I got to keep one of the old cups. Did you get the stickers from Jay? No. Ask stickers. Uh, ask Jay for stickers. Two stickers. Okay. Awesome. Only two. I was like, ooh, so I better be careful where I, I put know. them. I don't know. I mean, I guess I'll put them on my laptop. I don't you like. Can show my screen. I don't like a cluttery laptop though. It bothers me. So we'll see. Only the best go to your laptop. Yeah, I've got fast like. on there at the minute, but all right, ready. Worlds collide with Optimus Laser Optimus Prime 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 Prime. Huh. Uh, there we go. Uh, by the way, you have a second chance to look at the rewards. Here we go. Top five for the guaranteed four star. Um, right. Let's go to battle. Without further ado. Oh, we've got drift here. Ah, oh, looking sweet. Oh, cup. Cup. Slug. Rodimus. Optimus Primal. Huh. Uh, smoke screen slot. I'm gonna swap some smoke screen up with laser Optimus. Whoa. Looking beefy. And that's the sword. Right, I can't wait Straight to see the game. Out. Yeah, of course. Yep. It's magic. <laughs> the same way in most games, things just stick to your back. And it's like, even like the highest production value games, it's yeah. like, you know, talking about Uncharted or something, just like. Bit clippy, yeah, sure. just, just shotguns that magically snap to your back. Um, I feel like the AC just came on. No, that's your laptop. <laughs> no, because that would be hot air. Yeah. Well, okay, look at this. Uh, we've got, uh, I'm gonna, by the way, do you guys like Drift? I love Drift. Let me know in the comments if you like him. Um, I know you guys look, uh, love Cup because Cup is ridiculous. Um, <laughs> maybe he's a bit too strong. I might have to um, rebalance his ability a little. I'm just gonna warn you guys, uh, I might shorten the distance a little, just a little, um, and perhaps increase the cost for repeated use. Uh, so don't tell me I didn't give you a heads up. Or maybe the, the initial cost would be higher by one. Uh, not, nothing too drastic, it's still going to be amazing. Uh, it's just right now, it's crazy amazing. Ah, I love the heal here. Right, Laser Optimus, join the battle. 
and it gets locked because he just looks so lovely. Yeah, it looks cool. So. Oh, by the way, I made the quadruped um, bots. Um, some of the guys like Rampage, they will, uh, right now uh, they will deploy in their uh, like tantrum, for example. Um, they will deploy in the quadruped mode rather than just running. Uh, so Which it just looks cool. Seismic charge. Uh, seismic we charge. Uh, yeah, we've got a lot of questions apparently. So seismic charge damage um, is a multiplication of um, of each wall that's in the radius. Also, there's another multiplication going on, which is the walls themselves get five times the damage. So here it's for 246 for each wall. If I hit one wall, that will be 246 damage around it. Uh, but that wall will get over a thousand damage uh, itself, thousand two hundred, whatever. Um, so basically, the more walls, the harder, the stronger the effect. Here, it's a great uh, that honeycomb here. It's a great opportunity. Uh, for that ability, how many walls did that affect? We'll see. Slow motion. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five walls. That means 246 times five. And um, for the walls themselves, another times five. So that means boom. There we go. Um, right. Let's. Uh, oh, in all this commotion, I just forgot to use <laughs> Laser Optimus properly. Uh, here's the bouncy projectile, uh, blue color for him because uh, he's a good Autobot. Um, just got stunned, but I can't wait for him to yeah take that sword and stab things. Now that is pretty pretty epic sword, uh, leaving a, like a blue trail. And boom, here's the exploding projectile, conveniently destroying that cannon, uh, so that Slog doesn't have to do it himself. And let's use the... Oh, wait. I'm just going to wait for the normal attack. And transform. And do more of these discs. And we've got a lovely truck here. Um, every time he fires, he will reprioritize as well. Uh, so he kind of remains in this mode. It's more of a clever mode. Uh, he will travel if he has to, uh, to other uh, targets. Uh, so he will never fire, like run out of things to shoot. Ooh, we won a story reward. Um, Ooh. Do we want to go for it, or do we want to answer questions? How many questions do we have? Do we have many questions? Do, 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 do. Yeah, always. But sometimes it's nice to break it up a little bit. You know what I mean? With story? Let's do that. Yeah. By the way, we've got plenty of great swords in the game right don't now. Don't spoil it. With Drift. What's that? Don't, okay, don't spoil it. Okay. Ah! okay, okay. Never mind. Did you hide it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, it wasn't gonna play anyway. So. It's, uh, it's, go, it's gonna play. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see. Okay. Yeah, just, okay. yeah, play the game. Fair enough. It is here. Ooh, ooh. Wow. All right. Story. Well, wow. you won't, you won't get to see. This oh my. Story. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, a, it's, a, it's, it's such amazing. A good one. <laughs> Cannot wait until you guys play it. <laughs> All right, we're we're, we're safe. We're safe. Okay. Yes, we're cool. safe. So um, <laughs> oh, there we go. That's what I was talking oh, about. Oh, there it is. That is epic. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So how you make Optimus cooler? You give him a giant sword and flames and humongous Lasers. shoulder pads. And a name like Laser Optimus. <laughs> uh, so everything can be improved, apparently. I'm going to show you um, oh, about the if I have him. Oh, I don't have him here. Well, let's just take a look at Straxus instead. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, Mike uh, Shortcrest Shortcrest asks, can you please add the G1 monster box? Monster bots. Uh, Who classifies as a monster bot? Remind me. Uh, bonds. Uh, Titronia says Ripper Snapper must be in the game. Ah, uh, Ripper Snapper. This is the mm. shark. Um, yeah. Uh, the monster bots are apparently double cross, grotesque, and repugnant. I wouldn't say they are the most mainstream. Uh, probably Chris knows the. Uh, Chris knows, knows everything. Yeah, so. he knows stuff <laughs> inside out. I'm not as experienced as Chris is uh, with Transformers. Uh, he is. Uh, he is a legend. Uh, True. Chris is the Matrix. He is. <laughs> he's the, he holds the Matrix <laughs> in the office, uh, officially. Um, yeah, with Ripper Snapper is amazing, and I think there's uh, even um, more great bots that are uh, just ridiculous. And I think we had a great uh, slew of kind of leader characters, and then like Straxus is a leader as well, kind of despotic. Uh, had some Dinobot, we had like Star Saver, Laser Optimus, Cop. Uh, maybe now, soonish, is gonna be time for uh, more, um, more of weird stuff. Uh, 
perhaps. So uh, well, maybe we'll have a pair of more weirder bots. Uh, we had Sea Spray and Octopunch. Uh, I would say uh, Octopunch definitely is a bit of a, a bit. Uh, weirdo. Um, Speaking maybe we'll of, Big Feller says need more Sharktacons. Yes, um, we sense uh, a Sharktacon shaped hole uh, in the fabric of the universe. So um, expect um, some Sharktacons uh, in the future. Well. Yeah, it's been a t it's been a while since we had like loads of like Sharktacons running around and exploding everywhere. Uh, they're so cute as well, right? Oh, I know. I love the miniature ones. They're yeah. so cute. Yeah, Kyra and of, and always of course, like the Sharktacon event is the only way to get Gnaw. Um, yes. Whenever Good Hyro does a presentation, he always adds like a little Easter egg, Sharkticon, on really? his slides. Yeah, it's so cute. It's like, where's, where's Waldo, but with Sharkticons? And we've got Drift here. Where's Wally? Yeah, so... Um, Wally or Waldo? Wally. But Waldo in America, right? Wasn't I? Yeah. Huh? Was Waldo in America, or Wally in America. What are you talking about? Where's, where's Waldo? Where's Waldo? What about it? Where's Wally? Where's Waldo? It was where's Wally in Poland. It's where's Waldo in North America. Uh. <laughs> um, there was this movie, Apocalypto. Uh, it's a very dark and violent movie. Um, but there was Waldo sitting in one scene for like three frames. There's Wally for three <laughs> frames sitting on a pile of corpses. Oh. Yeah. That's strange. Strange. Yeah. strange. I think it's Mel Gibson going a little. <laughs> a little Mel Gibson. <laughs> um, Here's Drift again, so another uh, sword wielder uh, with some amazing swords. Look, they actually have double swords. edges. That's interesting. That's cool. That is really cool. Really sharp too. And transformation. Boom. Uh, yeah, I really like the ability. It's the first time we did any kind of life steal in the game. Um, let me know if you guys like it. Um, in the comments, uh, I think I asked for it already once, but never, um, never too much feedback. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Can drift attack right the way, uh, right away after he jumps. So if he would do that, he would deal considerably less damage. But because every basically, oh, this is, might be interesting for you guys. Um, every attack in the game uh, kind of multiplies the the damage of the bot, the DPS that we show in the stat screen here. Um, oh, by the way, I'll show you the stat screen for, for Laser Optimus. Um, substantial health, uh, quite a lot of damage, uh, quite slow, and melee for the normal mode. Um, and let's compare that to someone like Star Saber. So Star Saber has uh, same level, 2011 uh, DPS, 10,700 health, got more damage and more health than Star Saber. That's interesting. Um, however, the ability uh, of Star Saber is uh, really, really powerful. But nevertheless, interesting. Better stats. Now, Rodimus has less health but uh, much more damage. And we've got Slug here. Um, much more health but less damage. And that's a cup as well, fortified. Yeah, uh, substantial damage, uh, less health higher speed, and of course is a ranged character, and has the cluster uh, grenade attack as well. And uh, a different uh, ability, which is really, really strong as well. Uh, so yeah, Lazy Optimus is pretty damn strong if you look at him. Um, but yeah, um, back to what I was saying. Yeah, uh, if uh, here we've got Lazy Optimus who has 234 DPS uh, damage per second, which means that if he swings the uh, sword for two seconds, he will deal 248 damage. Which means if Drift was immediately attacking, he would attack, like jump and attack, and then nothing, no animation, then he would deal very small amount of damage. Because we have the whole spin and, and, and strike, and for Barricade with a jump and punch, that allows them to actually make a really big uh, impactful strike. And for some abilities like that, we actually increase the damage they deal, we increase the DPS for these uh, abilities, because they're kind of one-offs, uh, they happen uh, more rare than just like punching stuff, uh, so sometimes they deal more damage than the DPS stated. Okay, <laughs> cool. That was Am a I lot. going too much on like a game design ramble? That was a uh, lot of information. I forgot what you said already. What? <laughs> I was talking about DPS and animation. Five bucks to somebody the longer who can the animation, regurgitate. The longer the animation, <laughs> the more damage uh, the bot will perform. Uh, will deal. 
Uh, okay, so uh, because Daniel's really nice and loves you, um, he was like, let's do a giveaway. So we'll do a giveaway. Next time we'll know you, let you know in advance if we do a giveaway, so you'll know. But here's to the, the dedicated ones who, you know, have stuck around till the end. Ooh. Are we going to rush away from the train as well, by the way? Hey. Oh, yeah, train. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we've got three minutes to do it. Let's three do it minutes. quick. Good huh? luck to us. Three minutes for the... Do okay. we need a question or something, or are we going to mm-hmm. do the first come first serve? Let's do a question. What? Something simple. You, you, not you. Who's Me? That? Your name. <laughs> no, 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 it's not, it's not, a, it's no, not a legit not simple, question. It? It's, it's, it's not a legit question. It's going to be a Google fight. Um, <laughs> we don't want a Google fight. Uh, no, um, no, we don't. Okay, so our question is... Um, Maybe we Oh, I know one. Oh, Adam's got one. Sure yeah, one. it's, it's going to be simple, but, but why not? Um, tell us the name, and of course, add your alliance name and castle level and player name to the answer. If it's not there, you're not gonna win. Um, tell us the name. Get ready. Yeah. Of Optimus Prime's one of his former girlfriends. Ah, uh, one of. We are one? talking about a bot. Yes, I'm not sure if he has more than one. I know of one. And uh, she was officially. I think you have to just describe something about her, just in case people come up with another one, right? Mm. No, no, oh, they come no, up with There you one. go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You see the answer here, right? Yeah, I think uh, Twitch has got one. You see it, uh, Pablo? Yeah, Twitch has got one. Yeah, here I'll send it to you. Ba-ba-ba. So and Twitch, I'm pretty sure you guys can stop already. Twitch, yeah. I think you're you're done yeah. and covered. <laughs> uh, one of you is going to win. I don't know who's first. And I'm looking for. Oh, I've got the one on Twitch already. Who's that? Huh? Who's that? Who's who is it? Yeah. What do you mean? Geek Girl One Three Seven. Um. Yeah, we we're thinking about. Uh, and oh oh i just i just saw it uh, by the way uh, both answers are are fine uh like if you mention the original bot and then the kind of evolution and uh, they're both the uh, kind of same person so oh and uh, i'm trying to see the first one on youtube oh you guys are good I'm not gonna lie nice yeah all right so the uh which one's first? Oh, no. What about this one? This one. Yeah, yeah. Huh? That's oh, good. oh, you guys are really good. Crazy. All right. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. They just like, keep scrolling <laughs> and it's like... Keep scrolling. He's first. No, he's it. first. Yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, we've got it. Yeah, we've got our... And by the way, um, do we have it on all platforms now? Can we... No, not yet. And... Yeah, good. Well done. Yeah, the answer is, uh, the answer we were looking for is uh, Alita 1. Uh, great bot, by the way. Great bot. Congratulations. Uh, and on uh, Facebook, it's going to take a second because we have to go through the chat later. Okay. Because it doesn't update properly. So stay tuned. For Facebook, but Facebook, however, stay tuned. Transform, uh, not transform. Sorry, on Twitch, congratulations to Geek Girl One Three Seven, and also congratulations to Sunstorm from Age of Extinction and uh, Nautica. Congrats, not a cat view. Uh, it could take up to uh, twenty four hours, by the way, for your prize to be uh, delivered. So if you don't get it uh, tonight, you'll get it tomorrow. So don't worry about it. You will get your prize. But yeah, you might have to wait a day. <laughs> uh, Perfect. Cool. Well, we will see you guys uh, next, next week. week. Next week. Uh, and For next week. Good one. Uh, What's that? Good one next week. Good one. Those are all good. What's good? Oh, no, 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 good. What's good? Yeah, th- this week is great. Uh, next week we'll start a new saga. Uh, this week we had Simon Furman. We we showed a Laser Optimism Battle, and um, we concluded the story. Uh, so that's great. Uh, and yes, next week we'll start a new saga uh, with a new bunch of characters, um, potentially. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and it's, uh, it's a really, really good one. 
so stay tuned, join us again next week. And uh, also be on the lookout on Monday for the new Ask the Matrix video where we add, uh, answer some of your uh, burning questions uh, on video. Yes. And of course, always uh, keep the feedback coming, um, especially uh, I'm interested, super interested in bot balance and stuff like that. Uh, so drop it in Twitch, that's where I see it uh, easily, but I also see it every day from the CS reports that uh, Dan um, uh, also helps put together. So your words make their way yeah. uh, to the team, uh, one way or another. True story. Yep. Cool. Well, guys, we will uh, see you next week. Stay tuned. And let the worlds let collide. Let the worlds collide. Yeah, have fun this weekend. Yeah, maybe bro. next week we'll do a giveaway so you know it now so you can tell people about it now that next week we'll do a giveaway. Ooh. All right. Yeah. We'll see you guys next week. Thanks a lot. Bye.